Four years ago, uh, we created this award, and it's, uh, it's, it's a good award because it allows those employees that are not always recognized to get recognized. Uh, personally, I think it's important to recognize frontline employees because they're really the people who are the driving force behind these organizations. They're the people who are um, helping uh, our community. This year, I had the opportunity to present the awards, and um, I thought it was amazing to see how uh, grateful people are to be recognized by their peers. What struck me is that there was all levels of individuals that have been nominated from all walks of life, from the executive directors to CEOs to the frontline staff. Yet, within the nominations that I've seen and the candidates we've picked and the entire 94 nominees that we reviewed, there's a lot of people who continuously do this every day and have such passion for it. And it's really interesting to see the passion from right across the board, from the dedications to the innovations and technologies, to the leadership, to the um, partnership and community building. And there is a passion that really comes across when you're reading all these nominations. You see so many different areas being touched by so many different people doing it differently yet for the same common goal to better Toronto as a society. Wow, I felt very honored and I felt I, I was very amazed. My peers nominated me because I think I started an art project that um, allowed a lot of people to be more involved in the community and uh, more opportunities and I think they found it outstanding. It tells me that I was on the right path and I was able to, you know, to uh, contribute to my organization and make some changes in people's lives. It's me thinking about the best practice in the field in Toronto and inspires me to see that Toronto um, is setting a leadership for social work globally.